All right, so as I'm waiting here for a minute uh, at this mulch job for my guys to get here this morning, uh, it was like, I don't know, it's going to end up being around 30 yards. Uh, so we got about another six or seven yards just to finish up. Uh, we didn't make the cutoff from when the yard closed yesterday. So in the meantime, uh, I know that the mowing is finally starting to slow down a little bit. Uh, the grass isn't growing as fast. Um, but for the newer guys, it could have been a little overwhelming uh, or bigger guys that aren't organized, I guess, uh, of how I keep track of the mowing and the billing. So let me spin you around and I will quick show you the system I use. So I just use a normal three ring binder uh, with the dividers set to Tuesdays, days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we only mow four days a week. Uh, that leaves room for construction type jobs on Mondays or if we know we're going to get rain on Tuesday or Wednesday we'll bump everything up a day uh, for mowing and this way that leaves some <coughs> leaves some uh, wiggle room to not get behind so so for instance each place and they're in order so this is our second place we do on Tuesdays uh, under this check here is the customer's name address and phone number and then I do the uh, how much it is per week uh, to mow. So I just list out the days that we did it as we do it. So May 1st was her first cut. All we did was mow. She didn't come outside and pay. So I just hit a check mark there. Um, I know this that she doesn't. She pays every three cuts, which is how I do it with all my customers. So at the 14th, I put a line. That was our third cut and then I send her the bill. Once I get the check, then I'll go back in here and mark those three cuts as paid. So as of right now, she owes me for three cuts. Her bill's been sent, and I'm just, you know, there's a 10-day... Uh, so like I was saying, there's a 10-day pay period that I allow. So since I've sent her that bill, uh, we have one more cut in. This particular lady, she pays a little bit slower, probably, you know, she's older, so she does all her bills the same day of the month, so that's fine, but I always get paid. So, once I get the check for these three cuts here, then I'll just come back in, mark it out that she's paid. When I get there this week, she'll have the second one, and next week, she'll get her next bill. So that's the system that I use. Um, you know, it's been fail-proof for six years now. Uh, as long as you stay on top of it and uh, get into the routine and habit of uh, marking out the dates that you were there and uh, what you did. There was that other section in there where it says other. So if I'm there and they come out and they want us to pull a couple weeds or you know trim some shrubs up while we're there and we have time to do it, then I'll mark, you know, what we did and how much that was. So on June 18th, uh, we mowed the place for 50 bucks and pruned for 100. So we got to make sure on that day, uh, June 18th item line, we put the bill or the total for 150. Um, so if you have any questions about it, let me know. Uh, those sheets were made right up on a, on an iMac on the Pages app, I think it's called at the bottom or Keynote maybe. Uh, but you can do it. I mean, you could do it with paper and pencil if you had to, and a ruler. Um, so, that's what I use. Just figured I'd uh, show you if anyone else is wondering what to do. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.